Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the Banner Saga. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. Even though we did good stuff last episode, today is not off to a great start. This time, the outcome is not so fortunate. Despite your best efforts, and they were best, they were the best efforts right there. They were a fantastic effort, but despite them, tired and overwhelmed fighters are dropping all around you. You watch helplessly as Hogan takes a blow to the head. His brother Mogan screams rushing to his side, and you have to drag him away from the crowd of dredge before he falls as well. Rook! shouts Ivor. It's time to go! More dredge have emerged in the distance and from the Oh, that's he's not shouting anymore. More dr <laughs> more dredge have emerged in the distance and from the deep crag that cuts across the summer path. Are we gonna be able to pull this off? Yeah, we can do it. You turn you turn back to face the dredge when you feel something huge lifting you off the ground. Not this time, says Ivor. Look, the caravan is already gone. They must have started retreating in the middle of the last fight. You know, they'll have to win back their trust after a bit after this. Oh boy, our morale just took a hit. Okay, well, we're apparently taking a detour here and... Uh, well, we can renown. That's good. If we find a village, if we could buy supplies, that's really... So we are going through the summer path. Um, so we came from Enartoft, we're going... Wait a minute. Oh, we were trying to go through the summer path, I think. And we're now going to take the high pass, is that it? Hmm, not sure. Let's find out. Man, we're not in good... We're not in a good place right now. Not in a good place at all. We can't really rest. Oh, there's a village there! Yes! Okay, we got. We're gonna have supplies enough to, to reach it. It's okay. This guy's gonna have weak morale. Let him have it. If I, I let him have it. I don't care. I don't give a damn. You stay weak with your stupid morale. Up ahead, a scout shouts. Some giant hall, but it's empty. You approach the structure, but recognize none of the markings. The walls seem unsteady at best. Finally, sleeping beneath a foot, a roof. You overhear several families begin unpacking. Well. You are gonna starve to death tomorrow, but tonight, we sleep in comfort. Cheers erupt as people flood into the building. A varl leans against a supporting pillar. It cracks and brings down a portion of the massive roof, crushing a number of clansmen beneath it. Sadly, the rubble is too deep to recover their bodies, and you leave... <sighs> and you leave the building behind with regret. All of that... Well, F off! You guys stay... I, I'm not gonna care about morale. We're gonna just... We're never gonna rest. I don't care. I have no concerned for that. I am more concerned about my the lives than their morale, really. Mm, things are not going well for us. You enter a village of miners. You want to know what has been happening recently between the rumblings of the quake and the sightings of dredge in the distance. As you look around, you see a lot of elderly, elderly and children, and know that these people will only be more mouths to feed. Let's say... Uh, oh, man... Let me encourage encourage them to join me. Yeah, even even if we are running out of supplies, we need to save them as much as many of them as we can. You make a convincing argument about leaving town before the dredge sweep through, and do a fair job of convincing everyone to be completely terrified. They start packing. It remains to be seen whether you can keep them as safe as you say. So we gained a bunch of clansmen, but not really much else. But we can now go to the market, buy a bunch of provisions. Uh, I'm gonna, let's see, actually, me. Uh, mm, nom, 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 nom. this is not good. Mogan is still good, that's good. Okay, so who needs promotions? That's gonna be Ivor, that's gonna be 20. I am not gonna have enough for that. Uh, Ivan, mm, so Ivor needs a promotion. I'm gonna go without it for right now. I'm just gonna buy supplies, we need that very, very dearly. And actually, if we buy supplies, we can rest. Oh, they don't have that many supplies, though. Huh. Oh, yeah. Total available. Okay, well, let's rest for now. And, uh... Yeah, we'll worry about everything else later. Uh, we're actually gonna rest right now. I said, I just said that I didn't care about their morale, but I am gonna rest. I need another one. Normal morale, good. Okay, so we're back up on to normal morale. Let's look at the map and see where we're going right now, because I have no idea where I am. Hopefully in, in in a good spot. Okay, so it seems that we are taking. Uh, I think it, it seems that we're taking the high pass right now. A reluctantly formed road once travelers discovered what? A reluctantly formed road once travelers discovered that the summer path would often be completely blocked in the winter. It takes travelers the long way around Hawksport, Hawkstorp, 
uh, which has been good for Hawkstorp's economy and nobody else. So are we in Hawksport right now? I don't think so. I mean, it might. No, oh, Hawksport is over there. From atop a hilltop, or a high hill, Hawkstorp is named for the many hawks that circle past the tall pines and loft. They sit... What the, the, the phrasing sometimes gets to me. I apologize. So... The hawks that circle past the tall pines and the loft they sit in that lets them see down in the valley towards Borgesgard. Borgesgard, yeah. The town has never need uh, has never had many visitors, many, res many residents, but has steadily grown since helping the to construct the high pass. Mm -hmm. My English today is awesome. I apologize. I am trying to do my best, though. Please bear with me. I should be okay. Um... We don't need to talk to anybody. We have uh, resupplied, we have rested, and I think we are, well, good to go. Not being in a, in a desperate situation really helps with that stuff that happened back there. When a giant just... There we go. Look at that! Shouts one of the York landsmen. The caravan stops to watch Dredge pulling in the, into the village you just passed through. I hope anyone who stayed behind got out alive, says Alette. But you have your doubts. They're coming, says Ivor, pointing out a line of dredge leaving the village and marching towards you. As you watch, the dredge in front falls over, then the one behind it falls as well. You hear a twang to your left. Okay, who's this girl? Oh, it's the... I think I know who they are. They are the, um... Yeah, Oddleaf students. Need, the archery student of Oddleafs, who you recall deftly shooting a snow rabbit is firing arrows down the hill. Another dredge topples. That's incredible, says Oddleaf, squinting. But we should get out of here. Uh, should we? I mean, there's no real point in hanging back, so... <laughs> Let her do a few more. Eh, there's no real point in doing that. We could return to look for survivors. That'd be a good thing. Let's do that. The warriors complain as they ready their weapons. Nid, you say. Come with us if you can keep that up. She smiles and joins the fighters getting ready to head back to the village. Okay, we're fighting. And I guess we just passed the day going back. Okay, Need, what's her ability? She, a mother of three, Need comes from a life that never had to worry about things like dredge destroying her home, town, her hometown, or fro of Frostverler, but has adapted better than anyone expected. Mm hmm. And let's look at her ability. She is Bird of Prey, plus two range. Wait a minute. The Bowmaster uses her longbow to shoot further than her less experienced archers. Oh, that's really cool. And we got Puncture, which is a normal ability for every two points of armor. It's the same one as a lad, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm not going to bring her, though. I think uh, she would be nice, but, I, yeah, not being leveled up, it's really not as nice, basically. She'll, she'll come. She'll come later. So let's see. I could focus on these guys, and I probably will. The first one to attack... Oh, these guys are not nice. They are quite evil and mean, so let's focus on these ones instead. How about that? <laughs> uh, you are not going to be a good guy here. You're not really in a great position to do what I want you to do. So I just do this and we'll worry about everything else later. Okay, so right now that guy, who's going to be the first one to attack? It's going to be that guy. That guy after. That guy after. And then this guy. Okay, so what you are going to do... So you're gonna. This guy's not gonna attack for, for a while. So let's do this. How many are we fighting? Six. Okay, so we're evenly matched, for right now. So he's gonna be able to attack probably. Yes. Two armor damage. That's okay, cause I can fix that immediately, and I. I probably should, but I won't. I probably shouldn't. I mean, but I will. That's what I mean. So fix his armor right there, and now you're gonna take, uh, health, I think. Okay, so you're gonna move. That's okay. He's going down. It's totally fine. I don't think... Oh, that's... that. Mm. Yeah, there's a, a little bit... There's another one over there. Another one over there. But he's going next, so it's not that bad. Okay, so he's down. Okay, so he's here. He's gonna go for... Oh, man. Uh, let's see. It doesn't have that much break. I could move in and try attack that guy. That actually wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Let's do this. And... Uh, Attack him for as much damage as I can, and then we'll worry about him later. This guy's gonna be a problem, but Alette uh, should be able to deal with him. Let's see. Oddleaf is going next. I am hoping... Let's see. So he is gonna be able to attack this line uh, over here. And if she, she needs to be way closer than I want her to be for that. That's kind of bad. That's that guy over there. Well, uh, you're gonna be able to attack from there, so do that. 
take care of his armor. And then she's gonna take care of his armor. There we go. Perfect. This is good. This is good. Okay. So I need to move. But that's okay. Yes. Okay. So let's attack that with a lot. Eight armored gone. Okay. Now this guy's gonna come in. He's gonna go for health or strength damage. Now, what should I do with you? Probably should bring you back over here. Use as much as much of your stamina as possible. Because I want him attacking him. He can go toe to toe with him after he's a little bit injured. So right now, I should probably focus on healing more. So this guy, you've got... Okay, so you need a, a small one. Restores. Yeah, gonna go with a, a small one over there. Come on, there we go. Okay, so he's good, he's good. And he's going for strength again. Dang it. That's not good at all. Not good at all. Okay, so I need this guy... Yeah, injured as well. Slowly but surely, he's gonna die. Friends? Oh, damn it. Mm. Okay, so let's see. Who's attacking right now? That's him. I could, yeah, I could just kill him, and that's what I'm gonna do. Which is not necessarily the best thing to do, because I think he's gonna go next, and he might kill her. No, he, he can't. But very nearly. So who's going next? Uh, well, I need. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, let's see. So you can break armor. Let's do that. Uh, let's give you a little bit more, and then we'll worry about him. And I think a lad is going down. Yeah. No. Surprise, surprise. Armor damage there. A lad. Well, she can move away. That's probably going to be what I'm going to do right now. Uh, she doesn't have that much. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, so if I move here. I attack this guy with all the ar armor that I can. Armor damage, and she is free from danger right now, except she is not. Uh, so let's see, you got what you have, not what I want you to have, so that's a shame. Let's attack this guy. There we go. I should have gone for him. Should have gone for his armor. Okay, she needs to move, she really needs to move. This guy, that's 5 damage, I think, so he's gonna die. That's 5 damage, right? Exactly. So he's gonna die, that's good. Now this is gonna... Oh, he's gonna... She, no, she's not gonna die, she's gonna be moved back. But she needs to r not be there at all, in the first place. Okay, so this guy is going down. It's good, it's good. Very strong, all things considered. Is okay, we're not in pillage mode right now. Okay, so Odliff is dead. I am sad, sad to say. So who's gonna be the next one to go? Well, I want that guy gone, but let's attack this guy. See what happens. That might have been a bad choice. Nope. It wasn't too bad. It was not bad at all. So Alette's gonna move in. She's gonna break armor right there. And that's gonna be enough because he's not gonna attack for a while now. Oh, actually, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough at all. Okay, you stay there. So, four. That's good. Move in for the kill. You got a lot of a lot of exertion, so do that. And now you kill him. Oh, that was waste wasteful. It's fine though. It's fine. I forgot about that. Down he goes, and we are done. We're not gonna continue fighting, of course not. Not as we stand, we got victory. And I, are we gonna be able to continue fighting at all? The Renown is good. More dredge are on their way, pouring out of the summer path. Hurry, you shout, rooting through houses. You find more than one family hiding in the village and they hurry back with you to the caravan. Okay, so our morale incre improved, which is good. And we gained clansmen, which is, well, not necessarily good, but at least our supplies are, will last us for a week. And hopefully that's going to be enough for us to reach the next town over. We'll see. Some clansmen have discovered a large patch of wild fruit. When you approach, you see more. We see some people have begun to sample them. A mother frets about whether they are safe after overhearing one of the children say that it tastes funny. Others start gathering by the basketful. Let's see... Uh, let's offer a beast to one of the animals in the caravan. Let's go with that. 
Lacking a poison, uh, poison taster, you hold out the fruit to a goat. The beast sniffs it before eating the entire fruit. Only the pit falls to the ground as the goat licks its mouth and leans towards, you hand, towards your hand, wanting more. Let's take a bite myself. Several watches you taste the fruit. You pause after swallowing the faint choking. I'm taking a risk here, but I don't think I'm gonna die, because I'm the hero right now, but uh, that's probably gonna bring up morale. I, I haven't read for it, but that's probably gonna bring up morale because I'm just showing bravery and all that, and hopefully that will work a little bit better than just uh, you know telling them that it's okay. A let rushes to your side in a panic, but you laughter, but your laughter soothes everyone's concern. Soon, everyone is a little tipsy from the fermented, fermented fruits and spirits are high. Awesome, and we gained twelve supplies. Amazing, that was really good. I think I handled that the best I could. It was a calculated decision, and it paid off. A little bit of mana gaming, though, but it paid off. Man, the, the forests are so pretty. And this is another godstone. Apparently, it got cleaved in two. Hmm. Nice, nice song. <laughs> nice song right there. Mm -hmm. So nothing, nothing is gonna happen. Apparently not. Yeah, they just cleaved the godstone in two, and maybe that's why the gods died. Apparently, you like that. Look at him. Like, yep. I don't know. The Godstone of Dunder passes around you. In the frozen climates here, it looks like the rock has split and is falling apart, held together only by the deep snow. Curiosity when standing between the curiously when standing between the stones, the wind drops off completely, picking up again once you've passed through. I almost wonder if we should rest here for the night, says Ivor, who seems to have noticed the same thing. With all the snow around it, Dredge might not even be able to find us, he says. Hmm. Did he say that? Why is that? I don't know. Uh, let's inspect the godstone. Nah. Can we? I don't think we need it. Let's inspect the godstone, though. Along each strand of Dunder's massive beard is carved a different part of his story, and you turn your head and to and fro to read it. While the Loom Mother was the first to create, she, she, she soon found a counterpart in Dunder, who embodied her ideals in a masculine form. Dunder took some of her creations, gave them beards, and showed them the secrets of smithing, though many remember him as fondly for teaching them games and songs of mirth. After a short break, you get the people back on their feet. If the weather changes, we may suddenly find ourselves freezing to death up here, you say. There's some wisdom to your words, and so the caravan continues on. Nice words, then. Nice words. That was good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if the wind changes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, resting here for a day, it's probably not going to be that advantageous. And, I mean, they would be very exposed. And besides, Hawkstorp is right there. Our morale is not, though, so I will camp right here. Just an, just a day. Should be okay. Let's look at our heroes. Do we have any level ups? I don't remember we we having any apart from Ivor. No, we don't. Okay. Everybody's rested as well, so that's good. Um I think we can rest. I think it's okay to rest. Let's rest. Okay, there we go. Our morale is back up to full. Oh, we have a somebody to talk to. I don't know if we've ever spoken, says Nid. I'm Nid. You're Rook, I know. We've actually been traveling together for a long time. Isn't it strange how you can be so close to people and not know them? Every day I pass people I swear I've never seen before. I wanted to thank you for letting me join you. Well, have you always been such a good shot? Honestly, I, I never even tried before Oddleaf made me. I spent my whole life making clothes, cleaning. Oddleaf's good, but I don't think it was all her doing. It feels right. I, j I just... I just look where I want it to go. Anyway, I feel better. The caravan, the people worrying all day and making problems. Sometimes they really stew in, the, in their misery. I'm glad I can do something helpful. Where are you from? I don't think you're from Skogar, says Rook. I know most people, most of the people there. No, I had a house in Frostvaller, but we were driven out when the dredge started to show up. My husband, he died trying to protect our home. My sons and I were thrown out into the fields. I'm sorry. Akil's men killed my husband. When we left, I was angry. Why was I the, the one who had to leave their home? How do I deserve this? You look away momentarily, not sure why, what to say. But I've, I've let it go. I have three sons, and I don't want them to grow up with hatred in their hearts. That's why I wanted to thank you. Hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. I should be going, though. 
Don't think anything of it. We all have our own problems to deal with. Let me know if you need me to put an arrow in something. She returns to her tent where her boys are waiting for her. Yeah, that's true. She she's she's right to think like that. I think. Yeah. Shouldn't really. Br I mean, when you're by yourself, you know, brood all you like. But when you have kids, I mean, I guess, I guess that changes things a little bit. While walking, the words of a mother's song reach you. It's soothing, nuanced, and about your current journey. When she finishes, a man begins a tale of his own verse. Uh, the woman quickly responds with another poem, and the entire caravan slows to listen to the entertaining competition. Uh, let us... yeah, let's see. I c yeah, let's ignore the poetry contest and keep a near out for danger. Let's sacrifice our, you know, enjoyment of that and just be careful. The laughter and cheers continue behind you as you put some pace between the two... Some, pace, some space between to remain undistracted. The male contestant soon admits defeat and the clansmen quickly march on, thankful for the light-hearted distraction. Okay, our morale probably imp improved a little bit. And uh, we didn't lose any time and we didn't lose any men and women, so that's amazing. And we are right here at Hawkstorp. It's a nice place, nice looking place. In the distance, Hawkstorp smolders like an old campfire. Even from here, you can see black figures shambling through it. That looks like a, de a dead town, remarks Ivor, confirming your impressions. There's usually survivors, Olive reminds you. Well, yeah, let's check it out just in case. I hope others would do the same for me. Dredge are nothing we haven't faced before, Ivor grunts, but otherwise says nothing. Be besides, it might throw Be Bellower off the scent a bit. You, you had a day's march out towards Hawkstorp. And we really need, we really, really need the supplies. I don't think we're going to have enough. Man, as soon as you've stepped foot in the small town, you think you've made a mistake. It's thoroughly littered with corpses. Within moments, the dredge are upon you as though you stirred up an angry hornet's nest. You draw your weapons. Well, hopefully there's still going to be somebody in here with food, please. Mm-hmm, need the food very, very badly. Otherwise, people are going to start falling dead. Okay, oh, this is one of those battlefields. That's okay. This is not as bad as it looks. I don't know what happened. No, oh, there's the game soundtrack. Um, so... Uh, okay, so let's activate these because there's no real point in not having it activated. Let's defend this from here. Let's have... Uh, oh, that's not my guy. Let's see. So I'm gonna have you there. I'm gonna have Rook be there. And then the archer is going to stay back here, even though that's not a, actually a good position to be in. But, ah, well, what can a guy do? He, although, that's also not a good position to be in. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a good spawn, but it's the best I can do. Okay, so this guy can move in and go for the kill. That is not going to be okay. Uh, let's see. I can rest. Our morale is weak right now for some reason. So let's rest. I didn't, I didn't see that our morale was weak. I kind of forgot about that, apparently. Uh, I could go for a damage here, and that would be good if I can reach that guy. I might not be able to, though. I am. Awesome. Okay, so let's go with that. And now he's down to six health. He's gonna probably push people backwards, because that's what he does. And he does exactly that. Took away a little bit of my armor, but that's okay. That's okay, because now I can work on his armor as well. A little bit. There's no point in going for the health there. Might as well do this. Uh, so let's see. I don't. There's no real point in doing anything else apart from attacking that guy. I don't have that much break, so if I can attack him at all, that'd be a good thing. I'm gonna move in here. Uh, although, wait a minute. I should do this because that way, Alat and Olive are gonna be able to maximize on their, capitalize on their just innate abilities. Not really sure if they're innate, but their abilities. So let's see. You can. Do that, yeah. Uh, Alette is gonna be able to kill that thing. I hope. Hope she doesn't need to move. Yeah, I don't think she needs. She needs to move. Yeah, she doesn't. Okay, so she, he's dead. Perfect. Okay, down with our first enemy. I uh, need to keep an eye close on eyelid. I live. I live. What's his name? Ivind. Ivind. Yeah. Gonna need to keep an eye, a close eye on him because he's gonna need to fix our armors. Mhm. Mm Let's rest for right now. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that was a uh, AoE attack for one health. That was a one health right there. Not good, not good. So let's see. So how this works? No, don't want that. So how this works? It restores armors 
uh, allies armor equal to half the Mender's current willpower. So basically, he's got uh, he's got three to go. So our willpower is nine. So that's gonna be good. Uh, normal strength to two adjacent. No, that's that's not what I want. That's good. Should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Back to full full armor. Hmm, hopefully this is gonna go well, but I'm not really that confident, to be fair, to be honest. Oh, I am. I am very confident about this particular situation here. Mm-hmm. A Tempest here is gonna deal... Actually, let's not do this. Let's see, eight and nine. So that guy is dead. This guy is not. But I am gonna spend my willpower here to make sure that this guy takes ten damage rather than eight. No, that didn't work. Dang it, it's not like that. Hmm. Okay, I just wasted willpower there. I just threw it away. That's what I did right there. Threw it away. Okay, so my break is terrible, so I'd rather go for the kill there. I'm gonna move in for positioning. I'm gonna... Just attack him and kill him. That's good. And we'll worry about everybody else later. He's guy, this guy's probably gonna go with uh, armor damage. Nope. Yeah, armor damage, but move him backwards he can't, because there's somebody on over there. Now, Odlif, she is good for... Armor break. We need to break these guys armor. That's but I, then again. I also need to kill that guy mm, Can't really do that though. So move you there and Break armor Just do what you can do what you can She she would benefit for a little bit more armor break Okay armor breaking broken there There's no real oh, well that's a lot. Okay, so what a let can do is break more armor. Let's do just that Let's see if I move here uh, that is gonna be three, so she's gonna have a little bit more to uh, do this. There we go, eight armor gone. Of course, he's gonna attack, not right now, but after. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, so let's see, if I move in, I can kill that guy. That's good, that's really, really good. I could, man, I wish I could be there. I wish I could be there, but I can't. Uh, let's kill this guy. Basically, that's gonna protect everybody from, from yeah, let's do this. So this guy is dead. Down he goes. Perfect. Now this guy is going to go for armor or... Yeah, not armor, but... Yeah, that. Quite bad. Uh, so I am going to try and fix his armor. I am going to do just that. I'm going to do this. Make sure that he gets his ball back to full. Because I'm not really sure where my... Well, I, I don't want to make the math there. Moving back. That's okay. Now I can work on him. Uh, not really. Not really. Well, I can. It's just that not not really good. Mm. Well, do what you can. Do what you can. Okay, he's going for moving them backwards. That's okay. It's totally okay. Now, what do we have? You got him. Let's see. Oh, I got the uh, mark target thing, but that doesn't. Oh, actually, that's that's good. That's good. Okay, so I have I have enough to do what I want, and I'm gonna do this. Mark prey here. And now let's see how many people attack. A lot of people, but not a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Okay, now he's gonna take. Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. Surprisingly okay. Let me see. So if I do this, she's gonna need more. Let's do this. Make sure that he doesn't damage me too much. Then I'll worry about his armor or maybe somebody... Hmm. Well, Alette can go for the kill there, and she will. So we'll enter pillage mode, which is way better than the mode that we were in right now. And he's still not dead, which is awesome. And I'm going to move in and, uh, yeah, break his armor a little bit. Okay, we are all going to be able to attack before the end of the turn, so that's okay. I can... I dare not attack him with... Uh, well, I don't know. Right now, actually, I'm gonna just mend armor right here. Make sure that it's all back up to full strength, or as full as it can be. So we got one. Break his armor right there. Because as long as we keep working on, on it like so... Let's do this. I think a lad is gonna be able to do good things here. Hopefully. We'll see. So, what's the kind of damage she's gonna be able to do? Eight. Yeah, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, but still, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's not gonna be able to kill anybody. It's gonna move everybody back, which is actually the best choice for him, because that broke a lot of armor. 
that broke a lot of armor. The most, the, the more you move, the more you break. But it's okay, we're not gonna fight again. And we're actually coming up on the end of the episode, so... I am Colonel RPG, and this has been The Banner Saga. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.